everybody and welcome to our home here in Brittany in northwest France. If you're here for the very first time, you're really welcome. If you're returning, nice to see you again. I'm Jane, our husband Mike is behind the camera. We're British, early retirees in our mid-50s, debt and mortgage free. And here is our channel, Frugal Queen in France, where we share our thrifty, frugal and money-saving life with you. Let's take a look at what we got up to this week. Now, this week's video is all about three local charities that we support. The first one is one very close to our heart because it's in the very next village and it's a charity called Les Pousses, the fleas it's called. It's an animal rescue charity and they have a new shop that we went to visit, a much bigger premises. It's a fantastic shop if you're in the area of this part of 29 or 22 in France, make sure that you go and visit the shop. It's in a village called Poulouen and it's on the outskirts between Cahe and Walguat here. So it's a really, really good charity. So we went along to that. The second charity that we support on a very frequent basis is called Chiffonniers de Joie or Chests of Joy. Now what that charity is, it is a resourcery. And what a resourcery does is it takes things that people don't want from their house, whether they've had a good clear out or a good declutter. And what that charity does is they save all of that going to landfill stop it from going to landfill and it's really really good for the volunteers who work there as well lots of the volunteers who work there are migrants or refugees or in some kind of rehabilitation or they're elderly or they're lonely or they're unemployed and it's a really good charity not just for stopping the stuff going into landfill but doing a really good job of supporting the volunteers who work there and the third charity, which is also an association that we went to, and it is remarkable and beautiful and moving, is the Valley of the Saints. And we went yesterday particularly because it was St Piran's Day yesterday. And not only am I British, I am Cornish, and yesterday was my patron saint's day. So of course we went to see St Piran. I really hope that you enjoyed this video today. We've had great fun this week, so enjoy the video.
outside gardening again, having a, another lovely day. It's much, much warmer today. It's really brilliant. Oh, excuse me. So what have I done? I've mulched the two fruit trees and you can see on the bank here, I'm working my way along, weeding it, pulling out weeds. And these are bunches of crocosmias that I've pulled up out of somebody's garden that they've given to me. And I'll continue to weed across here and put more in there. You can see at this end where I planted the bamboo, all the bamboo naysayers, everybody stay cool. It's not in your garden, it's in my garden. I know it spreads, that's the point. So if you put crocosmia in, you'll have it everywhere. If you put bamboo, you'll have it everywhere. Rhododendrons, they'll grow big. That's the point, because all of this here is the road. And all of these plants will grow really big and create a boundary between me and the road, which is what I want, which is good. So it's a nice dry day today. I am going to do a little bit of lawn mowing because I've got bored of planting plants now. And I'll come back to doing more plants later on. But like I said, it's a lovely warm day today. recycling center and it's in Morlaix and it's called Chiffoniers de la Joie, so the chests of joy and they have a very large fabric section, well fabric to me it sells bedding, towels, curtains, tea towels, napkins, duvets, bed threads, all that stuff and I go straight for the sheets and the pillowcases and I want the retro stuff. I want the really gaudy bright stuff from the 60s, the 70s and the 80s. So let's go through my haul today. I've got a super large sheet. It's not good quality in the center, but the outside of it you can see is really brilliant. So for large borders and backings, that's what I use. And then when I go for fabrics, um, and here's a hint for anyone who's new to quilting. You need lots of planes. Now I'm going to show you this French pillowcase. You'll go, oh, that's weird. So a pillowcase goes on the bed and it's a huge, big, long pillow. And these, you can see, they're like new, they haven't been used. So I'm going to scoot through these quite quickly. I have a lime green. I have a normal pillowcase, a bright pink. I have a lovely enough big pillowcase, it's like new, you can see how big it is on the inside as well. Uh, this is fantastic, a great big bright pink with a print. As I said, I was going there looking for bold colours. I've got a red and this one is superb as well. I've got an aqua, pillowcases to you. This one's superb, another great big piece of fabric. And 
British people, we call these a bolster case. And then a really good solid turquoise. Then I have a, a standard double, and this is brilliant. Uh, this is flannel, or in the UK we call it brushed cotton. It's really thick and this is great as a quilt backing. This I needed for a quilt that I'm making. This is a full king size duvet cover and it's in brilliant quality, it's like new. And I'll cut it open, I'll use that fabric for batting. This is a fitted sheet set, so the bottom is a little faded, but you can see it's got superb retro patterns on it. And this one again will be a fantastic quilt back. <laughs> um, at the recycling centre, back to me please Mike. At the recycling centre, the prices are set. However, it depends on the volunteers who were there. If you go on a Saturday and it's the younger volunteers, they're a little more flexible with the prices. But when it's the older ladies who are there on the weekday, they absolutely stick to it. So they work out what each item is according to the price. There's no arguing with them. The younger ladies will look at it and go, okay, that quality is not very good. I can't charge you seven euros for that. Is it okay, madam, if I charge you three? But this lady, there was, there was no, she wouldn't let me look at it. She wouldn't let me open it up. So I paid full price today and all my fabric today that I bought, I paid 25 euros. It's a lot of money for me to spend on fabric, but I've got low tea and it'll keep me going for ages.
hope that you enjoyed our trips to support those local charities. We love your comments and we read every single one of them. We answer every question that you ask us. So if you have any questions about those local charities, feel free to ask that question. Thank you to all the new subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber yet, come on, join in with us and then you'll never miss our videos. I ask you just one thing, and that is to like the video, please. Go on, hit that like button, because it helps us get our videos out there because it affects the algorithm and the videos that YouTube share around the world. It just leaves me to say, on behalf of Mike and I, thank you to everybody who watches. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>